So today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Hawaii Goldfish and Koi show for 2019. Over here we start out with the goldfish. Um, looks like this is some Ryukins. Uh, what is this? Maybe a Shabunkin. Over here it looks like some more Ryukins. And I think these are Tamasabas. They're pretty much like a single tail Ryukins. Pretty cool. Those are pretty rare. You don't see those a lot. Uh, let's see, these look like telescopes. Pretty cool. Some more real Yukins. Oh, and there's a lion head or branchu. Some more telescopes. Those are cute. Uh, some calico fantails, maybe. Uh, this looks like a variety of stuff. I'm not sure if that's a pro scale. Oh, this chocolate around that looks pretty nice. Long flowy tails. Maybe the head's a bit small. Oh, that's a nice shabunkin. And a black around that. I really like that black around Some more telescopes. Oh, that's a nice around I used to have a nice around like that. Kind of miss it, huh? Uh, I forget what these are called, Jikins maybe or something? I'm not really a goldfish expert so correct me if I'm wrong on these names. Ah, uh, this looks like another Ryukin. I really like this kind of Ryukin, this really stubby, short-tailed type. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one right there. Another butterfly telescope. Not too shabby. And that looks like another Aranda. That's a nice one. Nice tail. And looks like another Ranchu. Maybe a top view. It's a nice one. Very big. And a couple more. Run, uh, Ryukins and another Lionhead or Ranchu. And some Celestial Eyes. Some large ones at that. Uh, you don't see those every day. Alright, that's it for the goldfish. And um, there's a bunch of koi ponds here. Let's take a look at some. Alright, here's one of the ponds. It's a variety of kois. Let's see in this one. Uh, looks like there's some. Sanke, some um, Kohaku, Showa. Nice. Let's see. Oh, and then I actually found out that this um, Asagi, the, the one with the gray back, actually was the the winner this year. One of the largest um, fish in the show. I really like that Kojaku over there. That that one that that's red and white and that kind of netting pattern. Nice fish. That one right there. I like that Kujaku. Let's see what we got here. Some more Sankeis. And I think that's a... A Beko? What else we got? Some more Sankeis. A nice Kohaku there. Nice yellow Yamabuki. Is the goldfish again and here we have what is that I'm not sure what that red and white one is that's an interesting pattern pretty cool oh that's a nice one I think that's a Shiro Mitsuri oh butterfly Butterfly Showa, you don't see that every day. That's a nice one. Ah, this one is really cool. I think that's a uh, Koshiki. I think they bred, they breed like a Sanke and a Asagi together to create one of those. But look at that red pop. Almost looks unreal. 
That's a nice fish. Here's another Asagi. And uh, Hariwake. This is another one of my favorites, that yellow and white one. Now here's some Lakoi. Got a Yamabuki yellow. Another Kohaku. Wow, that yellow one looks pregnant. It looks like full of eggs. Gorgeous. Oh, and here's a... What do you call it? A German scaled Kohaku. A Toitsu. Looks pretty cool. That means um, a lot of it. Um, it's kind of like a scaleless look. And yeah, these are nice too. Another yellow koi. And uh, Mitsuri. They also had a lot of plants here, mostly like kind of pond related plants, um, but also some land plants. And they went for uh, pretty good prices too. There's some tea leaves, some red tea leaves, some green tea leaves. And they also uh, were selling some of the smaller koi here. I think they range from uh, 5 to 10 bucks, so a really good price. I, I ended up picking up some of them. Took some home. So it was, it was really crowded in this area. I mean, as we're, we're buying them up, trying to get nets and scooping them up. And they also sold some goldfish here. Here, there's some, some $20 um, for some of these. Um, Jikins and um, some of these Tosakins, uh, which I've, I've always wanted a Tosakin, which um, from the top view it looks kind of like a butterfly or like a rose um, on the tail, but um, I didn't find one that I really wanted to take home. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.